Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to share uh, information about uh, Sparrow system real-world performance. And I'm running it with the free tire access, uh, with basically public access to anyone uh, for over, uh, for close to the month uh, at the moment. And it executes inference uh, with any kind of documents from real users. And uh, this uh, helps to see real performance. And currently, Sparrow middleware and Sparrow Vision backend uh, both run on uh, Mac Mini M4 Pro machine with 64 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm using MLX to run Vision backend. I'm using two models at the moment. Uh, one standard model. Uh, I'm using. Um, uh, Mistral Small 3.1 uh, and uh, for advanced model I'm using Q12.5 uh, 72 billion model with 4 bit contentization. And uh, online on Twitter often I see that people measure uh, performance for vision or uh, text based LLM systems using uh, tokens per second. In my opinion, this is not. Um, uh, really correct uh, in all the cases because it doesn't show real system performance, uh, especially for the data extraction tasks, uh, because uh, system performance can uh, vary uh, across different uh, uh, type of documents, even for the same page, uh, for the single page documents, depending on the layout complexity. Uh, one document may be processed uh, 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 more quick, other one slower. Also, it depends what kind of query is executed uh, against the uh, page, um, how many fields we fetch. Uh, it also will affect the uh, time uh, spent uh, to produce the response. So, in my opinion, it's more accurate, at least for the data extraction tasks, to measure not tokens per second, but uh, in average, uh, how fast uh, the page uh, processing runs, how fast we receive a uh, response uh, for the page. Okay, and uh, what we can see, uh, if we, uh, this dashboard is available for anyone on sparrow.katanaml.io slash dashboard. Uh, if we click all, so we can see in this period close to the month, uh, around 433 inferences were executed with uh, 92 almost uh, success rate, uh, 35 failed. This is when someone uploading some uh, sort of, uh, not really a document, but picture or some kind of other document and uh, Vision Backend is not able to produce any structured output out of this uh, document, so then it's report, uh, reported as failed. Then average duration spent uh, for the processing is uh, 833 seconds. In the free tire I allow uh, documents to be uploaded up to three pages. So uh, in average, uh, 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 dur uh, inference duration goes to 883, uh, 183 seconds. Uh, mostly standard model was used. This means mostly Mistral small 3.1 model was used for the uh, inference execution. And in terms of inference duration by document size, so we can see uh, for the one page document, uh, uh, 100, uh, 118 seconds spent, for the two page, 307 seconds, and for the three pages, uh, 621 seconds spent. And this is the events, uh, uh, inference events uh, uh, mapped by time and by document size and by the uh, time spent for the inference execution. This is by country, India, United States and France takes for, uh, three first places and by the unique users uh, it's the same, India, United States and France. This is for uh, all inferences. And it's interesting that uh, Mac Mini M4 uh, machine uh, uh, spends, let's say, around 100 seconds per page. So I wonder uh, if I would run Sparrow on uh, Mac Studio on Free Ultra or on, on, on NVIDIA machine, which will be more powerful. So I wonder if I would be able to execute inference uh, 10 times faster, let's say in 10 seconds for the page instead of 100 seconds. And if this would be possible, this would be great improvement. 
So hopefully in the future when I'll get uh, NVIDIA DGX Spark or M3 Ultra machine, I'll be able to improve uh, uh, Sparrow uh, speed at least by 10 times uh, just by uh, upgrading the hardware. Okay, now if you look into uh, one month, okay, let's look into the two weeks uh, to narrow down the uh, report period. We can see in two weeks, in the last or in the previous two weeks, uh, 186 inferences were executed and uh, we can see this is the inference event distribution. And you can see that uh, for the one page it was uh, 113 seconds, for the two pages 253, and for the three pages 815. Uh, so we can see three page uh, documents were uh, longer to execute, so it's not simply to multiply one page by three. Uh, uh, it would be around 300 seconds, but no. Uh, actual execution for the three page documents was 815. Uh, this is because uh, probably uh, those uh, three page documents uploaded layout for those documents uh, was uh, more complex than uh, single page documents maybe it was some <coughs> uh, let's say um, extracts from the uh, financial statements or from the bank statements or from financial reports and uh, one page document maybe uh, in most of the cases, there were some uh, simpler receipt documents or simpler forms or simple invoices. And that's why one page document processing time was faster. So it's not simply, you cannot simply multiply, multiply uh, processing time spent for the one page document, multiply it by three and assume this will take uh, uh, the time to process three page document. Okay, and let's look for the past week, uh, eight inferences. And here, uh, time distribution is uh, even more interesting for the one page 109 seconds, for two pages 158, and for the three pages it's 1128 seconds, because over here uh, there was very long execution, a complex document, and uh, the two cases like, uh, like here and here also were quite slow. And if you look into the uh, request by country, here we can see that United States, India and France, so the same three countries like for the old data currently, but uh, United States and India flipped, uh, so United States, uh, we got more requests from the United States uh, IPs than India, and the same with the unique users, so United States, India, France. Okay. So, to summarize, uh, uh, my point was to show uh, real-world uh, uh, actual users, actual documents, uh, uh, inference time execution, not uh, some dummy uh, token per second execution, but real-world um, uh, documents like a single page, two page and three page document execution time on MLX uh, running uh, on Mac Mini M4 64 uh, gigabytes pro machine and hopefully in the future when I'll upgrade the hardware either to NVIDIA DGX Spark or uh, Mac Studio machine uh, this will run uh, much faster so thanks for watching and see you next time bye